Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, back to the 1980s plumbing video and today we're going to fix a ball valve yes we did used to fix these as well I realise that no we don't and uh, most people throw these away but if you've never seen these done then uh, you know it, it might be helpful to you if it's not tough but yes, we used to fix these, and the other two things can go wrong inside here. One is a washer, which is a very small washer, about the size of a I don't know, big pea, really. And sometimes you get muck in the hole. Right, so uh, I'll show you what we do about it. I've already loosened this, but that you turn the water off, <coughs> and that would be the, the part that's left in the tank to just take this part off and then you'll notice that there's a what we call split pin here it goes out that side and spreads it so I'll straighten that out and then you just give it a good pull that comes out and then that bit disengages this cap screws off and inside there is a I don't know what it's called. Anyway, this comes out, and there are two couple of sort, different sorts of these. One is where that that part will unscrew, and you'll be able to get to the washer. But this one, you're just going to pull that washer out, slide that out. See, it'll come out like that, and put your new washer in. Right, that would solve that problem. It was the washer that was causing the problem. If it was the muck in the old situation, you knock that out and you'd have a little bit of muck in that hole that would stop it sealing. So you blow that out or get a small screwdriver and poke it out and then put it back together. So that goes back in there and then there's a washer going on there that would seal it back to the other part. That piston thing goes back inside, but don't let the washer fall out like I just did. That goes outside, but there's a groove, and the groove needs to correspond with that groove there, so that that engages in the groove, and you put your split pin back inside. Push that back on. Not need a bit of uh, persuasion with anything to hand. Not that time. It's a bit awkward because when you when you the split pins you spread it out and you put it back together. Uh, this is why I don't mess around with much. That's it's gone back home. Then you'd spread that out again, stop it falling out. Wash your foot on the floor, you always do. So that bit goes back inside there and re engages a bit on your tank. Screws on, and then the end cap. Put that on. And there, yeah, you, that, that would stop it down leaking. And uh, it's only cost a few pence. That ball valve today from you know the major sheds, depending where you went, it ranged from three pounds to you might pay up eight pounds, depends where you go from. I think that one was less than three pounds from tool station, if I remember right there. But you can't always get there, can you? Sometimes it costs you ten pounds to get there in diesel. So there you go. See you next time. Hello good people of YouTube, we want to have a look today at a modern uh, toilet ball valve. I've always saw that modern in a number of years now, it must have been out 7, 8, 9, 10 years, can't remember. But anyway, I'll just show you a, a brief way of the work and we'll take it to pieces and have a see. What happens is the water comes up to the middle. There's two tubes, or an inlet tube and an outlet tube, so the water comes in up the middle, 
and then up there's an arm, an arm presses on a washer and it stops it transferring at the top and coming out the bottom. So the water actually comes out at the bottom. I'll show you that. I'll turn the water on. There's the water off. There's the water on. And when I let go of the ball valve, it comes out at the bottom. And that is better because it's a lot quieter than your toilet. It doesn't make that water running sound. So anyway, the thing you've got to watch out for these if you're changing them is to make sure that locking ring is on. Because if it isn't on, I'll show you what will happen. You turn the water on. Stop it. And the water will blow off the top bit. Let's get ready to turn it off here. So it can go everywhere. That can shoot out your toes, hit the toilet lid. So that's one thing you must do make sure that locking ring is at home when you pull them in. Just have a look how they're made up here. This top will twist off, but it's very awkward. You need a couple of small screwdrivers because there's two locking um, lugs here that you've got to go up a, over a hump to let it draw free. That one's all there, it's that one there. And then the whole lot twists. And then it all comes out. That's it. Right, underneath there you have the washer that separates the inner tube from the outer tube. And that's all it is for them. They're not serviceable by the way. When they're done, they're done. Just buy a new one. That one's about it. I bought one today. It was uh, nine pounds and some pence from Screwfix. But they're very good. They're better than uh, the old ones, I think. Yeah, anyway, that's the locking ring. Just make sure that's are all the way along before you turn the water on. That should work it out okay. Damn stuff for washing the garage out. It's winter again by the way so we've got our winter togs on. The whole winter coat and the bob cap. Anyway See you all next time. Here's another type of ball valve you might come across. This is called a uh, Siamp type. Um, you've got, it's the same principle of uh, most of them. You've got, a, you've got a float here, the water comes, the level of water pushes that float, which pushes that, pushes that, and over inside and stops the flow of water. Um, these, you don't get a lot of trouble with these ones, but they do get blocked inside. Right down here, there's a filter, and they tend to block there, and it, instead of filling quick, they take a long time to fill. Getting them out, uh, they're not as easy to get out because they will separate, but you need to twist them on a screw thread there underneath. And because it's in a system, you won't be able to turn it. But there is a little trick I found you can take. Undo that bit. There's a washer inside there, so I'm going to not lose that. Take the floors off like that, and this part will separate like that. Then the top will turn. So you can get them bits there. 
that top part will come off as well with a bit of effort and there's a little diffuser inside there you can give that a blow it out and that's where the main problem is inside there if you've got to replace it you can buy the whole new bit and put that on and you can probably leave that in and it'll be alright and then uh, get it back together is just the opposite of that put that on first Save you uh, taking the whole um, the whole system off and having to work from underneath. That can be troublesome. Much easier if you can get everything at the top here. Don't forget that that bit was in on that uh, in between those two whatever they're called. And hopefully. I'll fix your ball valve without having to replace it. You never know, it might work. See you again.